Hi, I'm Robert Crow. I'm with Searchlight Group. Today I'm going to talk about managing multiple language versions of content in a website. Uh, business today is global, uh, so what that means is you've got multiple languages and customers in multiple languages uh, for your business. In order to reach those customers, you need to be speaking and, and your content has to be available in a language those customers understand. What that means is that you need your web content available in multiple languages. So how do you do that? Well, what a lot of websites do is they'll really create multiple versions of the entire website. They'll, they'll have a version of the website in French and a version of the website in English in a version of the website in Chinese. Uh, that's fine and it works, uh, but it uh, becomes a management nightmare pretty quickly. Uh, you want to make a change in one place, you now need to make that change across all the different places uh, in all the different sites and all the different languages that you're trying to reach. So what that means in reality is that most people only have a couple of languages because that's all they can really manage. So uh, let's take a look at how Sitecore, uh, the Sitecore CMS, handles multiple languages. Um, this is going to be using, uh, a, uh, as an example, a site that we did for Boingo Wireless, uh, where they really needed to have their site available in 12 different languages. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are. This is an airport, uh, and this is content editor that we're looking at. So let's take a quick look at what this page actually looks like. Uh, there it is. These are all content items and fields. So this is the English version, but you can see this, this is available in multiple languages, 12, 12 different languages. So let's get back out of this and take take a look at the content in Content Editor. These are fields, and this is a content item. So really, this is one thing, but it's a collection of that content in all of the different languages that it's expressed in. So this is the English version of that item. The German version is a uh, the same thing, it's the same same content item within the same content tree, but it's been localized into German. So if I take a look at the German version of this page, we're now in German, see the localized German content. But take a look at this other stuff too. This is all still in English, right? Is that good? Well, it turns out it actually is a good thing. You want to be able to, lang to, to localize the parts of the content that you're interested in localizing, but a lot of other things, like you know the uh, this this logo, for example, uh, the link URLs for navigation. A, a lot of the parts of the site are common across languages. So what we set up for Boingo Wireless was something called Language Fallback. It's an additional feature on top of what Sitecore gives you out of the box. And Language Fallback means that you identify the language that will be your master, and if you don't have content for a particular field within the page, or a particular piece of content within the page, in the in the particular language of that that uh, that version that you're working in, and these really are different versions, uh, then you pull from from the fallback language, and that way you don't end up with a blank page or or spots missing in your page, uh, like URLs that you forgot to fill in for that particular language. And the good news is, when you make a change in the fallback language, it gets reflected in the target language too. So if we go back here to English and if I change this to something a little different and save it, 
And if I go back to German, you'll see that change got picked up. So I can manage across all my different languages the common elements that are used by all of them, things like URLs or images or what have you, without having to go into each of all the different languages and make the same change over and over again and try to keep that all synchronized. So language fallback is, is uh, an important feature for really managing content in multiple languages along with bundling those different versions as different localized uh, versions of the content into one conceptual thing, a single content item but expressed in multiple languages. Um, so then part of the question that then comes up is where do I get that localized content from? Where do I get those translations? Well, there's a couple of different options for that. You could have uh, in-house resources that can do translation for you. Uh, so you may have an office in another country or you may just have native speakers in another language that you can leverage to make changes directly in Sitecore like, like we're seeing here or whatever CMS you're using. Or you can use an outside translation house that really that's their business is to do translation. But the process of sending stuff out and bringing it back from the translation house can also be a, a real nightmare, trying to keep that all synchronized. And it tends to be slow, too. You send it out, you wait, it comes back. It, it, it's a lot of, there's a lot of manual intervention in that, and it, it becomes a problem. So this particular site for, for Boingo uses a workflow that we set up for them that does it's really a publishing workflow. You, you create new versions of things, they get reviewed, and if they're approved, then they're published. Same thing with translation. If, if, you wanna, if, you, if you're doing a new version of something, you're making a change, you need to translate the, the new version of, of your content, that gets kicked off automatically using something called Clay Tablet that has a connector to Sitecore. That gets routed through your translation house in a workflow and comes back to you directly into Sitecore so that uh, you're, you're then able to then review that and when you approve it you go ahead and publish it and your changes are there. It's a lot, a, a lot less manual intervention and, and sending things back and forth in email or what have you. Uh, so having that well integrated is also a big a big plus. All right, I hope that helped uh, explain how uh, to manage content in multiple languages, which is uh, really a necessity these days and something that uh, more and more people are doing. Uh, and if you'd like to know more, uh, you can contact us at Searchlight Group at www.slgroup.com. Thanks for listening.